In this video, we will see how the combination of a Zendesk and Jira integration, along with the usage of Cursor with the Jira MCP server, can lead to the exfiltration of your repository secrets. Step 1. Attackers perform reconnaissance and send emails to various support mailboxes to see which ones are connected to a Zendesk instance. This can be easily identified by signs such as an email footer or the email address structure. Step 2. Once a Zendesk connected mailbox is discovered, attackers send an email with the actual payload. In this case, the malicious payload is encoded in Base64 and embedded within what looks like a routine support ticket. This payload contains instructions to search and exfiltrate the JWT token from the repository, or in this case, we call them rotten apples, to avoid being flagged by cursor, that while it does not agree to exfiltrate tokens, does not have an issue with exfiltrating bad fruit. As a result of the malicious email, a corresponding Zendesk ticket is created. Due to the integration with Jira, a similar Jira ticket is created as well. You can see how the email content found its way into an internal Jira ticket. Now let's see what happens when a developer that has assigned this ticket, who is also using cursor in auto-run mode with the Jira MCP connection, asks cursor to help resolve the ticket. Cursor is using the Jira MCP to get further information about the ticket. It then encounters the encoded data, which it decodes to get the malicious instructions. Here you can see the decoded payload, which was sent by the attackers. Now Cursor is looking for the JWT token as instructed by the decoded content. After locating the value of the token, Cursor performs the web query it was instructed, unknowingly exfiltrating the JWT token value as you can see in the attacker console on the left. The website also returns OK, which according to the malicious instructions means that there was a timeout issue which has since been resolved. Cursor believes it has successfully found the rotten apple, accessed a debugging website for additional context, and received a confirmation that the issue was resolved. It then summarizes the task and comments on the Jira ticket without mentioning a word about the JWT token exfiltration. And this is how an external email can lead to the exfiltration of repository secrets. Hope you enjoyed and remember to deploy AI safely.